Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Jeremiah 17, 14. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved, for you are the one I praise. So, yeah, I'm still doing my, you got this devotional. Um, That just happens to be what today's is. I know they have kind of an order, but they're daily, and I only do podcasts once a week, so... You guys get whatever I'm on. So, all right. A couple of things going on this week. Um, the biggest project is the quilt. Okay. Now, eek. Um, I got the topper done. I have it all finished. It came out. It, it has its own little issues i know where they don't line up but if you don't know it you don't see it you know it was me lining it up and i got one or two of them a little off so i can see it but when you put it on the bed you you can't see it so um imperfections and handmade is okay with me for now <laughs> but i have the entire thing done i'm not going to hold it up um this is just part of it. It is huge. Um, it is a, had to buy a king size batting. Okay. And this is the batting that I went with. Now I'm trying to do this all cotton. So I got this cotton batting. Um, it's not super thick. But I want to be able to use this blanket year round. I am one of those people that uh, has to have covers on to sleep, even if it's 110. I don't know why. I've just always been that way. So I got this one. It is, like I said, cotton. It is heirloom, Hobbs heirloom premium cotton batting. Um, and then I picked up this and it is the extra wide um backing for it now i did get a little bit heavier cotton on this again not too much but i put the three together the topper the cotton and this and the whole thing together is heavy but the thickness is not um, so I should be able to use it all year round. Um, it's not super thick, but if I'm, it, I want it to provide some heat in the winter. So yeah. And I went with this, I don't know, kind of, it's a creamy off white. They had limited, um, backing panels. So, or backing fabric. So I went with this, um, it's a, off white it's got little white flowers i don't know if you can see that probably not but it's got little white flowers that go all over it and there's enough flowers in this that it'll make it work so today i'm hoping to set up a bunch of tables and have enough room um because if i do it on the floor the dogs jump all over it. so um i had that problem last time this one I am going to, I want to find some kind of rod to roll it up on and I want to hand do. Now that brings me to another thing that I'm looking at and I'm hoping that Joanne's has one. Uh, everybody keeps saying Joanne's is having a big sale. Joanne's is having a big sale. So I, with the day off, I am going to take part of my time and go down to Joanne's, which is something I don't do very often, and see if they've got a quilting frame. And I want this one, I want this quilt to be hand quilted. Uh, um, I'm going to hand stitch and I'm gonna do just the pinwheels and the squares for every one of them. So yeah, we're gonna go there. I don't know. I just think I like the look of the hand done 
on this one, so I'm hoping it'll look good. Um, if they have a frame, I'm going to roll it two ways and then start with the center and go outward. So, um, and then I haven't decided how I'm binding it off yet. I thought about just bringing the edges of the backer up and over, but I don't like that. So I probably will find some yardage and just make a binding for it. Um, don't know. We'll see. Haven't gotten that far yet. So yeah, <laughs> there's that. That is my biggest project that I've been working on. Um, I do plan to go down. I've got some running to do today. Um, I've got things like oil change in my car. I've got to pick up some uh, dog shampoo and get the dogs bathed. Um, I got to see if I can tag my car. It's Juneteenth, so I don't know if they're open. I need to get my car tag done. Um, what else is there? I have a big thing to share with you. I just want to wait until I get everything else out of the way. Um, I did hit two years at work. I got this nice little thing. I put my one year pen on there and there you go. And I did make it use it last night to, Oh, okay. So I'm also going to pick up the last of the pavers. So I need 11 more pavers to keep the table and chairs from sinking down into the wood chips. And I'm also going to refresh the wood chips. So, um, I literally have my day, my morning planned out, starting with my eight o'clock um, oil change. If I show up at eight o'clock, it goes super fast. Um, the plan is to have some time to maybe go get my nails professionally done. <coughs> if not, I'm going back by Sally's and going to pick up some stuff. Yeah. You know, it's like colored dip. Um, I'm also going to pick up some mulch and refresh the mulch. I sprayed all the weeds away. Um, and that has to be done once or twice a year. Uh, so, but yeah, I got to pick up dog shampoo, get the papers and the mulch. I do want to run by Joann's, which Joann's is kind of out of the way, but, um, I really want to go and see what they have. And I heard there was a great sale on there. So, you know, um, so the other thing that has been taking all of my time, um, and I should say our time because roommate has time invested too. Um, let me just take you up to the kitchen and that's where we'll start. Okay. So here we are in the kitchen and don't look, um, it is dirty. Um, uh, this pile of pans right here is what we normally stored in the stove because we have short storage in here. Um, they're clean. This is clean. This is just kind of what we had. Yeah. Um, this little griddle here, I don't think you're seeing it, but this is what I'm cooking on that in the microwave for right now. So, um, we got a delivery. Uh, the fridge did not show up. I am pretty sure that I told y'all, uh, roommate and I went out and got new appliances. Everything in here is 1994. Um, while we were out looking, we found a very nice stove and let me, I will bring you down here because there's a little issue. All right. So there it sits and I'll bring you around to the front here. Hold on. Um, I know the lighting is not great for this, but Hey, um, there we go. So this is a new stove. It has not only the oven part, but down below where there used to be a warmer drawer is now a broiler. It's not part of the oven. And so the top center has a griddle and then there's the four burners. So it's got a little steam clean setting It's it's super nice, lovely white to lighten up the kitchen. Um, the freezer is also out in the garage, but no fridge came. Whole nother issue there. It's supposed to be here July. So July 1st, I believe, <laughs> which I'm off the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. So 
I will get that installed too. Now, okay, oops, sorry. All right, I know the light is horrible right here. I am so sorry. There we go. Okay, so I've got two of the three appliances here. The stove was supposed to be super easy to convert back to gas. All right, um, we have this whole debate, you know, not a big deal. It's already paid for gas. We did have to change, so I'm saying gas, but we actually don't have gas, we have propane. Um, so when you buy an appliance, it comes with orifice for propane and gas. Um, you have to get the orifices changed and you have to regulate the pressure for propane as opposed to gas. Everything is always set to gas, and then propane is something you have to do on your own. So, lucky for me, roommate has experience in that, although neither one of us have ever regulated the uh, flow. It gives us instructions, so we're pretty sure, we're pretty confident we can do that. Um, okay, so we move out the stove. I, I'm not showing you this area just yet. We move out the stove and we find more wallpaper. So there's no backsplash. So we had talked about we need a backsplash because the wallpaper looked pretty bad. We wanted to pull it down, get it. Okay. This is called old house problems, I guess. When we pull the paper wall, the wallpaper down, let me bring you out here and I'm going to show you. I know my big thumb. This is what we found. All right, now you're going to say, what is that? This is 1980s, 1970s, 1980s wood paneling. Okay. <laughs> now this used to be gas. There's the little gas thing. Okay. Um, we have boards there because we were taking them. So here's the issue. There is no fire protection, no insulation. We started to take that paneling down and there's nothing behind it but the studs. It is an interior wall and, and I understand that, but a, it, it was gas, okay, and it went to electric. Either way, that stove has a certain amount of clearance and that stove needs some fire protection back there. You know what I mean? It, there has to be something. So and it, it probably should not be 1980s for lack of anything, wood panel. So yeah, we went out and bought some stuff that is supposed to, um, it's like a sheet of stuff that you put up that is supposed to help with the heat. Therefore, heat won't get to that. Um, it, this is stained. You can see where grease and grime has gotten on it. I scrubbed on it for hours. I took the wallpaper all down. Um, yeah, we took the vent down. The vent is actually sitting over there by the dog water bowls. We're gonna put it back up, but, um, so <laughs> yeah, one little slide the stove out turn off propane, put the flex hose on, slide it back in, regulate the, uh, do that little pressure test thing. You know, it's has to do with the flame and what color the flame is. Anyway, it has now taken days. Tonight, the insulation stuff is supposed to go up, the, the fire rating, backing, whatever it's called. I don't know. It's got three initials. Okay. The other day somebody asked me, well, what's it called? And I said, I don't know. I think PDF. I said, no, wait, that's the, the program. Like, Everything now has initials. It doesn't have names, you know? So there's MDF, PDF, whatever. It, everything has initials. I don't know what initials it is, but it's this stuff you go and you buy and it takes, and it, it's not flame resistant, but it keeps the heat from going and getting into the wall to create a fire. So, I mean, it just, if a fire starts, it's not gonna stop a fire, but it's supposed to help with the heat, you know, 
it's kind of why you put stone around or brick around a wood burning stove. You know, you don't want that getting to the wall, you know, kind of fireplace thing. Um, you want some protection to keep that heat from getting to the studs because heat and wood, which would be fuel, are, you know, and then you've got oxygen. So, you know, you're, you've got it all set up right there for fire. So this is not... This is supposed to help with that and make sure that the heat isn't going into the wall, isn't catching things on fire, that kind of stuff. So uh, the backsplash goes up tonight. I'm calling it the backsplash and because the stuff goes down, which is a, uh, it's like a sheet of stuff. So it will go down. And of course the backsplash is going to go across there. And we are doing the whole section. We have two sheets of that stuff. And we're doing the whole section where the fridge is and that just so that it's uniform. Okay, just saying. Um, behind the refrigerator probably won't have the heat stuff, but it'll have the white stuff. So yeah, that little um, thing took, and like I said, there's not even any insulation behind that. We, we were going to take the panel, but it's just open studs. Yeah. So I don't know what happened to the sheetrock that you normally put paneling over. I don't know what happened. <laughs> That's what happens when you have a multi-year. Um, this house, the front little square, was brought in. And that just means the living room, the dining room, this kitchen. Okay, that that's the front square. It was brought in in like 1965, 63, 64, someplace right in there. And... Uh, yeah, and then they worked on it to make it the house they wanted. They added bedrooms. They added their first bedroom, then they added, um, oh, I'm sorry, the, the back bedroom and bathroom were there. They were part of the original. Then they added on bedrooms, then they added on the den, then they added on the washroom. So, you know, yeah, it, it has changed over the course of, you know, 50 years, 50 plus years, um, which is fine and dandy. But, yeah, all I can say is safety, safety. We want something that is going to keep that heat from going into the wall, number one. And number two, I want something you can wipe down. I'm not going to sit here and scrub. The wallpaper was nasty. Um, it, I mean, you cook. You try not to splash. It's going to splash. Grease is going to get somewhere if you fry something. Um, it is what it is. It's cooking. Um but <laughs> this one little project that was we were going to do the orifice one night, turn off the propane the next night, and hook it up and slide it back in. Literally, we were supposed to be without a stove for one day. Well, we didn't take time off for this project because it wasn't supposed to be that big of a deal. And now we've been without a stove for about a week. The old stove is sitting out in the garage. The new freezer's here. Um, I've got half a hog, um, a line on a half a hog. We're going to get half a hog first, then we're going to get half a steer, just because RJ doesn't have a steer ready to feed out yet. Um, he said he'd let me know when he had one to feed out, and then, of course, it takes another year or so, at least a good six months, depending on how big this steer is. Uh, so, yeah, this is what's been taking my time. No stove. Cooking on a little grill. Um roommate, I'm off today, so I'm going to fire up the grill outside. Roommate stopped by the grocery store and picked up pork chops, bralettes, hot dogs, and I was like, yeah, I'm off tomorrow, so I'll be firing that up, and I'm going to cook all that stuff, and then we can microwave it or heat it on the grill. It, breakfast turned out great, okay? I did pancakes, um, sausage, that kind of stuff. Um, I did the eggs in the microwave. I'm pretty good at that, and there actually is a way to do that that they don't have dry. They're super fluffy, super great. And then, of course, I have the toast for the toast. So breakfast, perfect on the griddle. Um, <coughs> last night I did, um, I had picked up a bag of pre-done fajita chicken, and I just put it on there, and I threw the tortillas on there, warmed them up. Uh, the only problem is, is it only has this much. And so when you're doing two tortillas, you know, you and roommate, yes. So it's not cleaned yet. I haven't done dishes this morning, but yeah. So 
uh, I did one tortilla at a time, did the meat all at once, and then I threw some lettuce and some cheese on them and made wraps. So, <laughs> it worked, right? But, yeah, it, it's been interesting, and by this weekend, we hope to have the stove in. Um, like I said, we're, it takes two of us to put the insulation stuff up and get it to stay up there, and then the uh, backsplash stuff that we're using has to go and be, you trowel, it's called quick grip, it's kind of like a putty thing, and then you have to hold it up there and push it real good, and I, I don't know, you don't tack it or anything, you don't put nails in it, um, or screws, so we're literally going to be stuck holding it to see if it will, fast grip is hopefully going to be super fast, and yeah, and then once all of that dries, then we can turn off the propane, put the little flex tube on it, which we have the flex tube over here, and it literally, hold on a second, I'll show you. So it's literally these pieces. We were ready to put that in, and we came up here and had discussed we're going to take down the, the wallpaper, and then it kind of went crazy from there. So we have the flex. We have this. We were ready to install this baby and then found all of this behind um, the uh, uh, wallpaper. So I just don't think wood paneling is a good thing to have behind your stove. Um, there is no safety <laughs> rating for this. Um, I understand that codes change and times change and all of that, but we had no idea. I looked at roommate and I said, you know how lucky we are we didn't burn ourselves down. <laughs> it's, it's, that is crazy. Okay, because the hot grease, if you're cooking with it, you know, frying chicken, it could have splashed, it could have anything. That's wood paneling. And it's from like the 1970s or 80s. It is super dry. And one little, that thing's going to go up flames. I'm just saying. So, yeah, we're super lucky we didn't burn the house down. <laughs> and so, yeah, um, roommate did say that it probably is due to code changes and that. And that probably wasn't an issue. And there's probably no insulation or anything, any fire barrier in between the wall because it's an inner wall, you know. So th that's probably why there's no insulation. There probably wasn't a big code on fire barriers or anything like that around your stove. So, yeah, it is what it is. It'll get installed soon. I'm making do with a little griddle in the microwave. We got this. <laughs> But anyway, all right, I'm going to get off of here. There's your chuckle for the day. Wood paneling, no insulation, just the studs, wood paneling with wallpaper over it, which is funny because there was no indents where the stuff was. We didn't even know that there, we, were, we thought we were going to find sheetrock. We honestly thought that's, yeah, no, it didn't happen. Anyway, I will, hopefully by next week, I will be able to give you an update and actually show you the stove in here. I can't show you the fridge because we don't have the fridge yet. But the freezer, um, we just have to clear a corner. We're going to put it out in the garage, and we're going to seal up some cracks around the area because that garage draws moisture. So we're going to seal up some of those and keep the moisture away from it because I don't want it rusting or anything. And we're going to install it in the corner, and then literally it's just plug it in. But I don't have the meat that I have to put in it yet, so it's not a big deal. That one, I know I said this about the stove be easy to install. Literally, we just want to seal up the concrete real good where that's at. Um, every time that we started to do it, we have everything we need to do it. Um, when we started to do it, it would rain. So this week it hasn't been raining, but we were dealing with a stove now. I really thought we'd only be a day, maybe two, without a stove. We're working a week now. It is what it is. We'll make it. Not like I could lose to miss a few meals. But anyway, all right, I'm going to get off of here. You guys have had your chuckle at my expense. I've had a chuckle about it. It is what it is, guys. 
Um, it'll be fixed, and hopefully I'll have an update for you next week. Thanks. Talk to y'all later. Bye.